Hello everybody, this is Bodrich and let's see if we can do this. Uh, I think I want to apply some user styles uh, and in this video we'll try to make Reddit look a little bit less noisy. I, I wouldn't say we will make it look better or worse or whatever. Maybe first I could show you here. I've uh, put in some work uh, yesterday here into this launch script that launches Vivaldi. Uh, it will automatically now uh, add these environment variables that you set here with the vb4c port and uh, uh, the exec command and the secret password that, that is needed for this vb4c server stuff to work. You know it's a python script but you also have to have the same uh, values in this configuration file here. Now it will automatically add the correct uh, uh, values to this home directory, for example. Now it says the path to my home directory. You have to specify this in, in, in this config file. Uh, and it also have the uh, path to the config file itself. It's also needed here for this to work later. Um, and here we set the port and here is uh, the exec command and here is the secret password the exec word. These uh, variables will be automatically set every time you launch uh, a new instance of Vivaldi if you use this script here. So, so you only need to set these uh, 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 variables at one single place now. Either directly in the script here or pass them as or set them as environment variables uh, before you launch this script and then it, everything should, should uh, be much simpler, whatever. Um, okay, Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this, in the config that I have on in this repository, I have a shortcut for uh, Reddit here, for example. We can say here is search alias r is equal to Reddit. And Reddit, the search engine, uh, let's see if we can find it. Here it is. Uh, it has two options here. And if you pass an argument, it will use a second uh, option here. And it will navigate to old.reddit.com slash r, the search string slash. So that means uh, I can go to any subreddit by just typing now t and then r. And then we can do i3wm. And then it should automatically navigate to the i3wm subreddit here. Um, <coughs> and this is... Um, Let's see here now the URL. We can see the URL here points to old.reddit.com because I, I, I just prefer the old Reddit. And this is how i3wm subreddit looks like uh, by default in old Reddit. We can look at it in modern Reddit and see if there is any big difference. This is modern reddit like oh this looks very much i3wm stuff you know whatever um, and let's see if we can go to some other subreddit now i haven't really tested this but let's go to desk desktop i think that's like a screenshot thread maybe not maybe it's desktops or desktop Yeah, here we have desktops. Um, I think they are using the same uh, CSS as um, i3wm. It, or maybe, maybe not. Let's go to one more. I know in one way I don't want to show, show you this, but there's one subreddit that's called Unix Art. I just know that they have a different CSS here. Yeah, they, they have a completely different uh, custom CSS here. And this is to <laughs> okay, cool, dude. Um, we are still viewing this in the old Reddit uh, style here. I don't know how this looks in the modern Reddit. Yeah, in modern Reddit, I, I, and I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how it works, how much customization options uh, you, you get when you create a subreddit yourself. Uh, maybe they cannot change 
the UI as much as you could with the old uh, 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 Reddit. I know this is a weird video here now, but I just want to show you that Reddit is really a mess, you know. And no one is really, even if you use uh, old Reddit or new Reddit or almost all subreddits have um, a custom CSS because this is not the default. We can obviously see this is not the default uh, uh, Reddit CSS. And uh, even i3 here, uh, even in the old, um, even if this looks uh, kind of uh, official and professional, you know, this is not the official uh, default Reddit CSS style. <clears throat> uh, but I, I don't have a Reddit account uh, and I just, I want to hide as much uh, noise as possible here. For example, logging in here. I will never do that because I don't have an account. I don't have, I will never submit the link. I will never submit this. I will never upvote or downvote and uh, log in, sign up. There are, there's a lot of stuff here that you can just, uh, if you remove all of that, it will, it will make a big difference. And you can easily do that with CSS and, and just uh, uh, using simple display none uh, um, CSS. I think I have one here. Here I have a, a, a user CSS uh, file here on GitHub. You can see here I hide a bunch of things like, uh, yeah, whatever. More links, subscribe button, premium banner, arrows, comment sign up bar, whatever. And all of these just share a single uh, rule here, display colon none. And that will hide a bunch of things uh, that related to having an account. Um, but to use these uh, custom CSS style sheets here, you need a, a, a plugin that's called Stylus. And I have it linked here. I will link it in the show notes as well. And this works, uh, this is not uh, Vivaldi uh, specific at all. Uh, it's even a little bit better supported on, on uh, Chrome and Firefox and Chromium and whatever, you know. As long as they have, a, 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 this is available everywhere. So Stylus, highly recommend that uh, plugin. Uh, there is, it, it is a fork, I've mentioned this before, but it's worth uh, saying it again, that it is a fork of a, an old, extension that was called stylish uh, which still exists and it if you su search for this you might just as well see stylish at, as the top uh, search result do not install stylish it's it's not uh, you cannot trust that extension let's let's leave it at that but there's more information here and, and whatnot you know add to chrome add extension and then uh, I press Alt key here, and that bring, brings up uh, the Vivaldi menu here, can be good to know. Here we can see extensions, I usually just do this Control shift e that uh, pops up this extension page here. And here we can see that Stylus is installed. And when Stylus is installed, then uh, we might need to have to reload here. We can see the button here, it is Stylus. And if you open a file uh, with the file extension user.css then it will automatically know that this is a user style sheet and it will uh, ask you if you want to add it to your sty stylus manager. So this is one way to, to import styles and stuff. Now if we try this reddit no account user.css because these uh, links here they actually they link to the actual file. It will not work if we go to if we click here, for example. Then we just open it here in the GitHub editor. But if we click raw here, that will open the actual file. Yeah. So this will also work. Just so you know. If we click raw, you can see it opened quickly there. But then we also get a, a stylus window here. Reddit no account uh, asking me if I want to install this. Here we can also see where this style sheet will be. Uh, applied to reddit.com. So install that style. Now it should be active here immediately on Reddit. We can see there's a, uh, the badge here for stylus uh, have a number, one. We can see it's all already a bit cleaner here, uh, our Reddit thing. 
And if we click the icon, we can see uh, all style sheets applied for this site here. Here we have Reddit no account. I can comment that out. And now immediately you see you can toggle the styles. This is this is a, actually a very good extension in my opinion. Uh, this stylus, it's uh, kind of a uh, packed uh, and big extension, but it works really well. Uh, it has a lot of users and, and the big community and whatnot, you, whatever. Um, one thing we can also do here immediately is open, click this option button here. That will bring up the options for uh, stylus. Here you can select which theme you want for the icon in the uh, status bar. I think this looks better for this color, whatever, this is whatever, you know. But there's one uh, here. This is very good. Open editor in new window. I like to set this to true. Uh, and then I don't think there is... Well, here we have user style auto update interval. Uh, I set this to zero. I don't want any auto update of my styles. I do that manually, but this is optional. This is also interesting. I haven't researched this, but... Uh, uh, wait, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> this is uh, expose iframe iframes, uh, and this is something that I think I mentioned. Also, I try to style the the YouTube iframe stuff. Blah blah blah. Couldn't figure out how to do it. I think you might be able to do it with this enable, but whatever. Let's not get into that now. Add delete in editor context menu. Whatever. This is fine. And here's another cool thing I, I found here when I opened this uh, last time. If you click this shortcuts here, it will actually open the shortcuts menu for all your extensions. Uh, and apparently you can add like uh, shortcuts to many extensions support shortcuts. I haven't experimented at all with it, this and as you can see not, none of these have a short uh, shortcuts. And shortcuts are of course uh, keyboard hotkeys, uh, key bindings, that you can set for different uh, um, functions for different extensions. I think this could be used uh, and, and you could do, do some cool things with this, but whatever. Um, okay, the important thing we did here now was setting open editor in new window. And then we can just close this. And this is the main dashboard, so to speak. Here we can see all styles uh, applied and stuff. And as you can see, it, it the fonts looks completely off here. It's because I use this fixed sys, blah, blah, blah. We will not fix this in this video, but whatever. Uh, let's close this as well. Go back to Reddit here. Uh, and now when we have this option, edit open editor in... Uh, external window, we can click this pen here, for example, to edit this uh, style sheet that is applied now. And then it should open that. Well, I guess it didn't open it in a new window now because we, we kind of have to reload the page here for that setting to have effect, I think. Um, hopefully it works now. Open a new window, edit. And there, now it opened this in a new Vivaldi window. And since I have, God damn it! now it, I lost my Oops. T uh, GitHub dot com slash bud rich slash Vivaldi dash rising. Um, and I described this here in, in the readme as well. I have window rules here, you know, uh, and have a special class name for the main window, which is this this window. And all other windows will have the class name Vivaldi Stable, and they will get placed in D container, but the main window is placed in the C container. And this window here, it have that, uh, and I think I've shown you this before, it have this Vivaldi Stable class, so it will be moved to the D container here. <coughs> here we can see this have a different class name. So every extra window we open here will get placed in this D container. Same for dev tools, of course. So if I press F12 here while in the main Sublime window, we'll open that in, in the D container as well. 
And I think this is uh, r really convenient uh, and a nice uh, way to organize your windows, you know. And one of the reasons I love i3 so much, because you can do this. Let's hide that special uh, class info bar. Okay, okay, back to Reddit, back to Reddit. And here, now I have opened this style in this external editor. And it's really cool because you can, uh, you can um, live preview changes and stuff in, in these styles. Um, and you can even, here, here I removed one, one of the rules there. And I, then we can see a star here, meaning this is not saved. So if I save this with control S, should immediately, or maybe it even applied. Yeah, you see, I don't even have to save it. Look at the arrows here, the voting arrows. As soon as I remove this line here, the arrows appear. So it's very easy to, to uh, manipulate styles and stuff. And of course, to know what the name of the classes and stuff are, you will need to, to use this in inspector thing. So if I wanted to hide this uh, join button here, which I kind of want to add to this uh, uh, style now that I think about it. You can see here, option, active, add, login, required, button, fancy toggle button, sus subscribe button. That is probably enough here. We take that class name, then we go back to our style sheet, and we can add this to, to the list here, for example. Uh, this will not be a tutorial on how CSS works. Save, didn't work. Subscribe button, okay. God damn it, of course it didn't work. Maybe we add this whole thing here though. And if you want to change, there it's gone, you see. And I added dots here uh, to connect the class names. Whatever, let's not get into how CSS works. Uh, now I can also add more of these styles here. But I have also added, um, because I open old Reddit, I did that from uh, VB4C, it automatically goes to old Reddit. But if I would click a, a Reddit link from an external page or whatever, I will uh, end up on the modern Reddit site. Uh, but there is this great extension, Redirector, uh, that lets you set up uh, redirect rules like this. So I, I, I will make sure that I always uh, uh, open Reddit links on old Reddit here, but you can use this for a lot of things. I will, I think we'll come back to this. And it's kind of a new extension for me. I haven't really used this uh, long here, but it's uh, very, very good in my opinion. So we find here uh, Einar Egelsson's uh, homepage, uh, Chrome Redirector. Yes, that's what we want, source code. It's open source, it's great, it's amazing. Um, Add to Chrome, add extension, can make sure that the extension is added, redirector, there it is. Um, go back to Reddit, or whatever, we don't have to be at Reddit even, or we can actually open my GitHub here, because here, here I describe uh, how to uh, create a rule, but let's see if we can do that ourselves here. Because now we should have this redirector is uh, here it is. It's really annoying. It have a big badge telling you that the uh, uh, extension is active, uh, so it's hard to, to know it's or it's easy when you know that this badge thing in, is redirector. Whatever. And here you can uh, enable notifications, enable logging, disable disable the, the extension completely, or open this edit redirects, and that is for edit and add new redirects. And uh, the first card here describes an uh, example redirect, but uh, let's create a new one. Description, new Reddit to old 
dot reddit whatever and then it wants an example URL here uh, and here you should write uh, like uh, uh, an example URL that you want to redirect so we could do this uh, let's open i3wm here modern reddit like this and then we copy this URL and here we can also see www uh, that is kind of optional here it will also open the modern reddit yeah it opens it both if we have www or not so, so that's something we have to uh, add here to redirector but redirector is really cool because it lets you uh, uh, use regular expressions here. You can use this wildcard to use normal wildcards. Maybe we should do that first here, just to show you. So include pattern. Uh, there you write the pattern here. And the pattern is, uh, if we want to make this simple, we could do this. Set a star there, and then redirect to uh, and we want to redirect this that URL to old.reddit.com and then the star you can access that with dollar one so then we have this and I think if you have more stars then it's dollar one dollar two and stuff but this is uh, like you can only use uh, the star with the wildcard here uh, regular expressions, they are regular expressions, much more powerful uh, and you can more, more fine-tune fine this. And then to, and, and here we can see the example results. So if we would enter this www.reddit.com r slash i3wm, it will uh, redirect it to this URL. Um, but let's change this to a regular expression here instead. And then, uh, since the www is optional, we can just put it in a group here. Uh, and a question mark. And maybe the dot here also belongs to the group, and it's a good idea to put the dots in a character class. And here we can see now, uh, since uh, redirect to oldreddit.com $1, now $1 here, we can see how regular expressions works. Uh, $1 is the first group, www dot because it takes this example URL uh, uses this pattern and displays the results here uh, reddit.com and then I like to write it like this um, zero or more characters and then we change this to dollar two instead uh, and we can also remove the slash here because I like to include the slash in this group because that means it will work for the uh, front page itself. Even if it doesn't have a slash uh, in the URL, uh, this redirect will always work. So here you can see now it works and now we can also test here. If What if we don't have a www? It will still redirect to the same address here. Uh, we could even um, make this S here optional if we wanted to. Or we should do, do that in the include pattern. Question mark. So you see it redirects here. But even now, if we would uh, try to open a HTTP Reddit, it will redirect to the HTTPS. Um, whatever. But now, when we have this set up, we save this. Now we will always, uh, we will never open a. Uh, um, the modern reddit here. It will even be difficult for us to, to open it. Here we have the modern reddit open. The URL here is to the normal reddit. If I just uh, uh, reload this page now, I think a redirector will redirect that URL. And here we can see, and it's very fast. This redirector is much faster than using uh, JavaScript uh, uh, user scripts and stuff to do this. Uh, in my experience, this has been working really well. Um, and you can do much more uh, interesting things with this. We will come back to it. Uh, 
But this is good. Now we know we will end up with uh, always with the old Reddit because that otherwise it gets really complicated here to apply user styles if we don't know what the, because they have like different class names and yeah the modern uh, Reddit is actually a completely different uh, uh, web page in, in a way you know. I think it's uh, written with the React uh, JavaScript framework and, and stuff like that. Whatever. Let's go back to this place. Because another thing I like to use is this uh, custom uh, user script. So this is not a, a user style, a CSS. This is a JavaScript that you can inject for a specific uh, uh, web page. And now it opened this uh, as an external here because this is not my own script. So uh, be careful when installing uh, external JavaScript and stuff like this. But we can actually, uh, even if the button here says install the script, uh, we cannot do that because we don't have a, a, a extension to handle this kind of things. Because, because there is a, a program similar to, or extension similar to Stylus, uh, but for JavaScript instead. And that is called Violent Monkey. Open that link here. Uh, Violent Monkey. Alternatives, Grease Monkey, you might have heard of that, or maybe Tamper Monkey. I don't know, there are different uh, monkeys. Uh, right now I have been using Violent Monkey. I, I, I don't know if it is the best or not, but whatever. Support the browsers, Vivaldi here, so... Um, no problem. Let's see... Uh, these links doesn't seem to take me to the... Chrome Web Store. Add to Chrome. Uh, perfect score. Lots of users. Really, a lot of users. 600,000. I have probably installed this <laughs> a million times myself here in the last couple of weeks here, but whatever. Uh, go back to Reddit, or we can go to Grease Fork here now, because now we have this uh, Violent Monkey. Maybe this also, let's see if we have some options here as well. Dashboard, settings, I just want to see if we can open these uh, windows in an uh, external window as well. Uh, default injector mode. Notify script, ignore script, reload current tab, yeah, whatever. Uh, installed script, so so both Violent Monkey and Stylus, they work very similar and have a similar uh, UI kind of thing. So if we click here, install script, maybe it will not work, maybe we need to reload the page. No, it opened here in uh, Violent Monkey. Confirm installation. And same thing here. This is JavaScript, this is CSS. And, but here you can also manipulate the JavaScript directly here in this uh, editor. And I like to do this. I just take the tab, drag it like that, and that will create a new window. That new window will have the window class, you know, and then we get the, the uh, JavaScript also now in uh, its own uh, tab here. But we just confirm installation here. Uh, and this should apply to Reddit. And what this uh, JavaScript does is that now here on i3wm, I think we have to reload now because we installed a new uh, user script. But now we can see we have uh, a badge here on the Violent Monkey button, meaning that this user script is active. And this user script, it comes with a custom command here, uh, toggle custom CSS. If we click this, this is the default Reddit CSS. This is uh, also if we disable here now our style style sheet. This is how Reddit is uh, supposed to look in quotation marks, and it's it's a terrible, terrible, terrible design. It's 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 insane in many ways. It not just looks bad; it's also like complete insanity under the hood. If you look into how how this is organized, what what kind of uh, web techniques or what to say the user it's 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 crazy it's completely crazy and there's so much noise here you know um, 
but uh, we want this original style here because then, uh, 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 yeah, I think I have it here. Uh, toggle custom CSS. It's a user script that lets you toggle between the default CSS and subreddit specific CSS because uh, when you create a subreddit on Reddit, you can choose to have your own CSS for your subreddit. This extension, it kind of uh, overrides that and, and reverts back to the original CSS. But the default is to show the subreddit specific CSS. Uh, but we actually want the default to be to always show the, the default C, uh, uh, Reddit CSS. And then instead, when we click this button, or no, we are not on Reddit. But when we click this uh, button, it should revert instead to the specific CSS. I think let's close this because this is the installation confirmation here. Uh, so I think we need to do that. And then same thing here. You can just click this edit uh, Reddit toggle custom CSS here. Yeah, now it opened it here, of course. Um, let's drag it out. Get it there. I think there is a way to make this automatic, so just like with the stylus there, but I don't remember. It's not important at all. Uh, here I have uh, made a comment here that we, we need to change this const disable CSS from false to true. So, and, and that is here. So we just change this to true. Uh, save. Now if we go to Reddit, we can try to reload this just to see, because now it might revert here. No, but now every subreddit we, we would open here, our uh, Unix porn should have this uh, old school default Reddit look here now. And it does, it does, no extra special fancy uh, uh, stuff. Okay, when this is done, then uh, it is kind of safe in quotation marks to, to add my other uh, uh, Reddit user CSS here. So let's just uh, batch add all of them here. Clicking at one at a time, install style. Let's not talk about them at all. Huh. Yeah, that got a bit weird there. God damn it. Okay, be sure to open these in new tabs, otherwise it would get a bit weird. So Reddit sidebar user CSS. Reddit no bloke user CSS. We have already installed no account and Reddit layout user CSS. And I have organized this uh, like uh, in this way here. So uh, we, this could just as well be one single file. Uh, but I think this is kind of nice to do it like this uh, uh, sometimes, especially for, for crazy sites like Reddit where there's so much elements and stuff you want to change. It's good to have them in separate files, but that's a matter of taste really. So install, style installed. You see, it, it, it gets a bit crazy when you install styles like this. It opens it first in a window here and then in a window here. It's not really what we want, but whatever. Check for updates. Maybe we shouldn't have that checked there. I'm, I'm not sure how that works here, but maybe it just works. Uh, closing. 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 And then we can close these guys as well. We close all of them. Close this and close this. Uh, going back to Reddit. Now we have a, a, a lot of, of user styles here uh, installed. Well, it feels like one is missing here. Ah, no account. There. This is how I... <laughs> now Reddit is a lot more acceptable in my way. It's, it's a little bit less noisy, but it's still uh, kind of uh, have the, the original uh, uh, style in some sense, you know. I know the, it looks so stupid with these double buttons, you know, but red, this old design, it uses this weird technique. So 
this image uh, is actually much larger. It's like this large and it contains a bunch of different icons, like all icons and graphics that Reddit wants to use. It have included in one single image file, which uh, uh, when they did this like back in 2003 or whatever, it was like a smart thing to do because the, it, it, it would mean that you would only need to lo uh, load one single image and then you could use it everywhere. The problem is you cannot resize images, you cannot move them around, it's like so so stupid, makes it so difficult to work with. So that's why it doesn't work. And as you can see, there are no upvotes, downvotes, I cannot, there isn't even a link for me to comment or anything. I can select share here, I don't think that works, and report and hide, maybe I should even hide this stuff, but uh, yeah. We can change here, if we change layout, now it's not centered anymore, that's basically what that does. Also the sidebar is moved here now as a uh, as its own thing. If we would remove this sidebar thing, then the sidebar will always be visible. This is the default of at least all Reddit. And if we also remove theme, now it looks uh, like all Reddit. But and, and this is without the bloat and without the login stuff, it's still uh, so messy. and it. It is not responsive at all, it always shows this stupid sidebar here. So this is how Reddit looked if you would look at it in a mobile, for example, you know. Um, and yeah, if we <laughs> enable everything, it's just like a broken design. And, and, and you know, they, they added this modern layout, that's like one or two years ago or something, that, that became like a, a, a fully supported thing. So this is how it looked like for, for like 15 years or something. Uh, I guess Reddit came out in a weird time, you know, just uh, right before people started using phones and stuff like that. So no one really cared about small, really small uh, uh, screen widths and, and stuff like that. I kind of like this uh, style and uh, or kind of like, I, I actually don't. I think this also looks weird and I, I hate these double icons and stuff like that. but. It's a lot less noisy to look at and uh, it's acceptable in my opinion. And now every subreddit will look the same here. I also made the title bar here sticky so, so you can always see which subreddit you are in because now they will all look the same so it can be nice to just have this title bar thing here. But now if we would go to, for example, Unix porn, you can see that looks like this now. Whatever, this video is not about Reddit and, and things like that, it's more, I, I just wanted to show you how uh, uh, to add, well here I can see these numbers here shouldn't be visible. Whatever, maybe I have some more work to do here. Uh, but it's, uh, it was more about uh, a quick uh, uh, introduction to how stylish uh, or stylus and style sheets uh, for custom sites. And of course, uh, you don't have to write them yourself uh, and stuff. There is like a giant database of style sheets. You can actually access it here from, from the menu if you select find styles. Uh, sometimes this works. I think this has to do with my uh, uBlock origin or something here because right now it doesn't work. But sometimes you get like suggestions here directly in, in the extension menu. Uh, but you can also click here to, to go to the uh, uh, site userstyles.org which is a terrible 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 if, if you thought that reddit uh, was had terrible design and it, it is a cancerous website then you have never been to userstyles.com as you can see it takes like two hours to load the page here because there's a lot of spyware getting installed on your system i don't know now it doesn't even seem to work here not sure what's going on Reload. Whatever. It, it It's a terrible, terrible, terrible uh, page. Yeah, it, I think it broke. Let's see again here. Uh, find styles. Well, and now it also worked here. Weird. But here, so th this is how it's supposed to be. And here you can select like... Uh, pre-built styles. Oh, this looks so cool. Minimal dark Dota 2. And you can just click this, I think, maybe. Maybe not. Find more styles. Whatever. 
Yeah, I cannot even get this uh, to work here. Uh, and I don't recommend you using this. Try to write your own styles and style sheets instead and, and try to find them on different uh, sites instead of this uh, userstyles.org. Uh, right now it seems like it doesn't even work, uh, uh, the site here. Let's turn this off and find styles. Whatever, it doesn't seem to work now. May, you, you have probably seen this site before, uh, but and there are, there's no uh, uh, quality uh, guarantee whatsoever. Some sites are several, several years old. Well, here it goes. <laughs> Just took took like two minutes to to load all the bloat, and it's it's like all ads everywhere. It's like ads for their own stupid thing. It takes this. It loads super long time here. It's, Lots of weird shit going on here. Uh, and this is stylish. This is the official uh, uh, stylish thing, you know. And this is why they made the fork. Because some uh, weird company acquired this extension stylish and created like a big botnet uh, network around it. So this cannot be trusted in any way. But I think... Or no... I don't, I, I don't recommend you installing uh, user styles or anything from this site, but you could do that. It's actually very easy to do it. You just uh, uh, accept that it's so extremely slow here. I'm not even sure if it's loading this Wikipedia page. Oh, a pop-up for stylish for Android. Amazing. I will not install that. I will not do anything here. Uh, and the, w what's going on here, you know? And here you can install Wikipedia uh, styles. Let's just select this deep dark theme. Ah, it's oh. <laughs> install style. You just select that, and then you get a pop up. Install with stylus. Okay. Now it is installed. And if I if I would open a Wikipedia page, I think I can just. Type Wikipedia and then uh, Polybar maybe, I don't know. Maybe Polybar doesn't have a Wikipedia page. No, it doesn't. And it also looks like uh, it doesn't, didn't install that style properly here. Maybe it's... Uh, if we open Manage here... Hmm. This is getting weird now. Because there is no installed Wikipedia. Well, there it uh, appeared now. Hmm. Yeah, uh, weird stuff is going on there. Don't uh, I, I, let me don't install things from this site. I think you can view the source. I think that's that's probably a much better thing to do. I don't do what I did there. That was weird that it took so long time there because here you can see if you click this button you can see the source for this style sheet and then instead copy this whole thing copy and then uh, let's remove this Wikipedia thing here now delete delete and we open Wikipedia and we click stylus button here and then write new style for this I think this is uh, enough here we just click that and then we paste our code here paste the Mozilla format code uh, override style, let's do that. There. And maybe remove this uh, update URL. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. No, I think this looks cool. It's from GitHub and stuff here. But, uh, okay. If we save this. Yeah, this works. Uh, and yeah, this is how you should do it here. Don't install the, something weird happened when I clicked there. You saw how long it took for it to install the style and stuff and how long... Who knows what's going on? Uh, why uh, things are loading? What's hap what's really happening? What what you really agreed to when you press that OK button? I, 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 I don't recommend it, but this is a page where you can find a lot of user styles. Uh, uh, but the thing is they are actually quite easy to write yourself. And that's uh, what I want to, to uh, show here with my Reddit stuff here. If you look into the source files for these, uh, you can see that they are uh, small, simple files and you can easily find out which class by just inspecting elements on, on the pages and stuff. 
And also be aware with these uh, user custom style sheets uh, that Reddit here, for example, old Reddit, modern Reddit. You never know when uh, a website will change their web design, you know. Uh, and often they, they do this incrementally. They don't just uh, go from one style to a different style from one day to another. They kind of uh, implement like, oh, we, we're going to change the class name now for comment buttons or whatever. Like small things changes over time on web pages and constantly breaks your custom style sheets. Uh, I promise you, they will do this. Uh, so it's best to keep it uh, as simple as possible. Maybe just changing color slightly. It's also a really good idea to do something like this and, and kind of make your theme work with the original uh, theme and design. It's If you change all colors, especially dramatically, uh, like changing the old Reddit to a dark theme, then you will get into troubles, you know, because they will change stuff and it, it will kind of break the, the design. Um, or maybe old Reddit here is a weird example because old Reddit, that will probably not change at all here. It, it will probably have the same old design. If they make changes, they will make it to the new design. So it's kind of a lot safer to uh, rise and customize the old uh, layouts like this. But um, this is how it works. I, I used to use uh, these style sheets and stuff all the time and trying to, to make them uh, look exactly as my, my uh, window manager writes, you know, I, I, I used to have like the same background colors for as many web pages as possible as, the, as I had in my terminals and whatever, but don't do that. Try to stick to, to uh, the, the original page uh, design and layout. Uh, you, you will, it's very easy to waste a lot of time. And you don't really, in one way, sure, you, you get to learn some CSS and it, it's also just good to, to watch and inspect the different web pages and see how they have done things, you know. Uh, but at the same time, you learn it a lot better by just creating your own web pages and stuff like that. So uh, all in all, it's most often just a big waste of time. But and I, I also use it mostly for, for things like this, you know, hiding stuff, display none, so I can uh, no bloat, hiding like things like that, than redesigning web pages. Um, yeah, whatever. Thank you for watching. Um, I will probably continue working here. I have a lot more work to do. As you can see here, now we are just in this uh, Reddit subdirector here in Vivaldi Rising. If you open Vivaldi UI, you can see I have a lot of documentation here as well for how to set up the UI, uh, custom CSS and JavaScript. As you can see, it's kind of similar to what we are doing here. This is for web pages and, and what we have done prior is for the Vivaldi UI itself. And I've tried to document that here. Um, but I haven't document, documented VB4C at all here. Lot of things to, to write about that. And also this girl uh, mess that I'm working on as well here. So this has become a little project here. It's almost like a little homepage in itself, this uh, Vivaldi Rising repository. And I, I kind of do it for my own uh, sake because uh, six months from now, I might have a switch browser and switch back and whatever. It can be good to see how all of this is, is uh, it's done. Uh, uh, whatever. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.